everybody, what's happening? This is Cindy. I'm Paul. Our channel is Hi C Cindy and Paul. Hope everybody's doing well out there during this pandemic and keeping in good spirits. Yes. So we're here to talk about our weekly cruise chit chat. Thank you for tuning in. And Cindy, let's get into it. All right. Um, our, this week's uh, chit chat, we're going to discuss about when cruising starts. There is a rumor going around that you may have to be vac vaccinated to go on a cruise and you may have to wear a mask on the cruise. Are you willing to do that to cruise? Well, initially, we always heard that you would have to have a mask and that makes perfect sense to cruise. Um, now, the vaccination, that's a rumor for sure. Yeah. It's nothing official. Mm -hmm. So, but I mean, realistically, I mean, you almost have to think that's probably what it's gonna, what it's gonna take. We did a video a couple months back that the cruise shut, uh, shut down needs to end. And, you know, we've been uh, hotels here in the United States that are completely packed, working in environment and, and uh, resorts and hospitalities that are completely packed and, you know. And Walmart. And Walmart, you and Walmart. Christmas mm -hmm. and everybody getting their stimulus money yes. and everybody just swarming Walmart. And, and what about the airplane, right? We went to Cancun. And we went to Cancun and we were on a completely packed airplane. Third seat was taken. So it's definitely hard to understand why cruising isn't happening. Mm -hmm. But, um, you know, I would say if they did it at 40, 50 percent, that could be a go. Spread everybody out. Mm -hmm. Maybe just even do balcony rooms. Yes. Also, you have a scheduled time to show up to the port. You show up early, they turn you around. You don't mm -hmm. come in early. That way you don't get large groups of people. It's definitely manageable. None of it makes sense. It's a personal choice. Most cruisers that are you know, really missing it would definitely, I feel, in my opinion, would be willing to go in those circumstances. I said, I've been booking cruises since, what, August mm -hmm. last year sure. that have been getting canceled. And I've been saying, to go on a cruise, yeah, I got no problem, I'll wear a mask. Now, I'm afraid it comes down to getting the vaccination. Yeah. You know, is is the next step there? And, and maybe get the COVID test three days, you know, before. Yeah, the they're kind of they could do that too mm -hmm. as well. So nobody knows anything. There's no true information out there. These are just opinions. But in, we want to know if you had to get the vaccination, would you get the vaccination to cruise? That's the big question. Now, what if the cruise line says before you get on the ship, you have to get the vaccine? Would you do it? Would you cancel or would you say, yeah, I'd do it just to get on the ship? Yeah. And comment down below and then be kind to other people's comments too. You yeah. know, everybody has opinions, mm -hmm. but we're just curious, you know, with avid cruisers. And it's a personal choice if mm -hmm. you want to travel and you want to cruise. You know, a lot of people believe you should be quarantined. I think if you can, out of cur courtesy, but... You're looking at people traveling all around the United States frequently on airlines, mm -hmm. staying at packed hotels, packed areas. So it, it's just a personal choice if that's something that you would want to do. And like I said, comment down below if you would get vaccinated. Now my question is to Paul, if we have a cruise book for uh, May 29th, 2021 on the Mardi Gras, Carnival Mardi Gras, and if some and a month from now they say you cannot go on that cruise unless you get vaccinated, would you do it? Um, I'm 50 50 because I'm in my 50s, I'm in pretty good health. Um, most people under 50 survive it pretty well. Um, Cindy says she wouldn't get it. I'm on the fence if I would get well, it. Well, I say if, if they say if that's the only way to get on the cruise ship, I would do it. Yeah, I would get vaccinated, right. To go cruising again, I would get vaccinated. Yes. And this is just my opinion, but I've been saying for the last six months that you watch to fly, to travel, to cruise, you're gonna have to have an app on your phone or you're gonna have to have some certificate proving that you've been vaccinated. Mm -hmm. I guarantee, I'm not gonna say I guarantee it, but it, in it my might. opinion, mm -hmm. I feel that mm -hmm. you're definitely going to have to show some proof. Yeah. And, you know, like I said, just 
comment down below and be kind to other people's comments. Everybody has different beliefs. Right. And if you're not comfortable traveling, That's then okay. stay at stay at home, stay in your comfortable place. Myself, I'm exposed to a lot of people every day. And a lot. you know, and people so, not wearing masks. They yeah. just they say they're not gonna do it. Yeah. I mean, so, and he's exposed to it. So I would I would, you know, I would cruise no matter what, but I definitely dearly miss cruising. I miss the experience and I guess if it came down to it, I guess I would take the vaccination. How about you, Cindy? I say yes. I'm going to do it. If, that, if they say that's one way you can get on a ship, I'm doing it. Yeah, I kind of look at vaccinations as like flu flu shots are not 100%. We've never, had, be a, a, yeah, never had a flu we've shot. We've never had flu shots. So, so you know. We just, we've kind of always taken the social distancing <laughs> before the COVID. So, Get you know, out my during, this is my <laughs> during the cold and flu season, we try to stay away from people. Yes. We wash our hands. And what did we do on the airplane when we used to uh, fly, you know? We, we used to wrap our scarf around there because we like to cruise and travel in January and okay. February. That's a slow time of year. It's not very good weather where we live this time of year. Mm -hmm. We like to do our back-to-back -back cruising in January to kind of like, hey, we paid for the flight to get down there. We're going to stay down there for a while. And when we leave, usually in January, by the end of December at work, everybody's coming down sick to flu. Yes. And we're telling everyone to stay away from us. And we get on the plane and we're putting our scarf around our... So we've been doing this a long time. Yeah, <laughs> and washing our hands before we eat. I mean, all this is common sense. Yes. You know, so... But... Uh, Common sense, I think, today is out the door. So, anyways. But, so, yeah, our Mardi Gras keeps getting canceled. Yes. And uh, we had back-to-back -back on the 24th. We had the 24th initially booked when we moved that so many times. And Cindy, could, Cindy has been handling all the, you know... Uh, rescheduling of all our cruises it's hard to keep a uh, keep a tie on everything because we had the first mardi gras in september 30th 2020 that was the repositioning cruise 14 day cruise on the mardi right. gras and then we moved it to may 1st and then i thought since all that stuff got canceled april 24th was the next cruise so i just we did it back to, we're gonna, we then we heard may 1st was going to be the first yes. cruise so we booked that so we had a back-to-back -back scheduled and then, <laughs> so much. you know, we were supposed to be on a 15-day repositioning cruise on the Mardi Gras from mm -hmm. New York to Port Canaveral this past September, which, you know, that got canceled, canceled. before COVID due to, you know, delays there mm -hmm. on building the ship. So I think at this point, I'm done. I'm just about done chasing this ship. This was the fourth booking on the Right. Episode. Now we've got the Pride book for Thanksgiving that we hope goes mm -hmm. and I I normally don't cruise in the summertime um, the weather is pretty nice and we got beautiful lakes where we live mm -hmm. so it's a beautiful time of year and we're also very busy in the summer yeah. so um, we normally don't travel from Memorial Day on but I did make an exception this time to try to get on that Mardi Gras first cruising but I, I feel 50 50 at best and I feel that it's probably more like 40 60 or less but I may I've already gone at you know and chased this cruise on a holiday on a summer to get on it uh, to be the you know the first to be on it mm -hmm. I may do one more to August but after that I'm done chasing it yeah it's it's been a struggle but we were supposed to be on the radiance for you know in the beginning and that's got moved around a couple times so I think the best bet that I can give to our high seas fans and followers is book out to 2022 book out to 2023 and I say book early the prices are going to go the up. the prices are really going up I can't we paid what twenty six hundred dollars for our Memorial Day on the Mardi Gras. Uh, on the Mardi Gras on an inside room Havana inside it's room. Havana. But I mean, I don't think I've ever ever paid more than fourteen fifteen hundred for an inside room. Yeah. So I mean, prices are going to be going up. They're selling uh, a lot of our favorite smaller ships like the Fascination yeah. and a few others. We're 
were really sad to see the fascination yeah, go away. Yeah, that was away. one of our favorite ships. One of our favorite ships, and we loved the Serenity deck on the back so much. Yeah, and we used to like those smaller ships to do a lot of port days because they're easy to get on and off and you don't have the big crowds. Mm -hmm. So as they're getting rid of ships, the prices are going to go up and the demand's going to go up. So my best recommendation to everybody out there is book for 2022, book for 2023, put a low deposit on when they're doing their deposit deals and get something booked. And then, you know, I don't think we'll have a problem, but... I could definitely see in the future. And the, make sure you check your special deals on Carnival because we do have a cheers package sitting there waiting. So I may see what happens to this cruise at the Mardi Gras. If it doesn't work out, I may move all my funds to my 2022 cruise. Right. Which is the celebration, 50th celebration Carnival uh, on the Panorama. And I may put all the funds on there and try to get the cheers package added to it. Right. But I'm just about done chasing the Mardi Gras if this yeah. one doesn't go. I Probably the last ditch effort would be you know mid to late august i could see where i could get some time to maybe enjoy it then but you know i'm not a big fan of cruises in the summertime and it's pretty hot and humid in the caribbean and you start hitting the storms and all that so you know i may make an exception because i'm really really you know want to be the first one that'll be going to cancun again <laughs> Well, not in the summer. Well, maybe in May. Yeah. Definitely, if it cancels, I'm probably going to go. We've got a Cancun book for the end of February and uh, Playa del Carmen. Yes. And if it cancels, then we may do something probably in May for sure before yes. school gets out. Absolutely. So. Uh, right around Paul's birthday. So. Yeah. Birthday vacation. <laughs> yeah. That's it. So let us know what you think, and uh, will everybody... you guys get the vaccine if you guys had to, just the cruise, or are you guys just gonna say no, I'm not gonna do it? Some people say they're not even gonna wear a mask, so I mean, we just don't know what's gonna happen. Right, right. So yeah, I mean, I would probably get the vaccination to go on a, on I a cruise, would, just to do it. And she's, you know, she feels she's in perfect health, and uh, she feels that she doesn't need the. You know, she didn't want to take the vaccination, but she would to go on a cruise. Yes. So, all right, guys, we'll take care and thank you for watching. Hopefully, we'll see you on the high seas soon. Most of it's yours, Paul. <laughs> Here's to you guys. Be kinder than necessary. Take care, guys. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.